And this recipe I saw online um, from a site called Moss Home and Garden. Um, so credit to Moss Home and Garden for this recipe. It was blueberry essence they used. I've used strawberry essence, but otherwise everything else is the same. And this again was a very, very logical um, set of ingredients. So it was the apple juice. It was the sort of champagne yeast. There were four tea bags used this time, and actually those four tea bags were steeped in 500 millilitres of a bottled water, um, and there was additional brewing sugar added to up the up the ABV a uh, little bit. And then for flavouring, there was my protein flavour drops, which are effectively they're a gluten-free, um, low-calorie flavouring essence, which you dropped in. Now they were slightly coloured, and I'll come back to that because they added a lovely little colour to the um, to the cider as well. Um, and then you know at the very end, after fermentation had completed. Um, bottle carbonation was was, was done um, and the car bottle carbonation was done with a combination of both table sugar sort of almost a 50 50 split of table sugar and uh, brewers corn sugar um, to create that carbonation and the end result of this one was an 8.4 percent ABV um, cider it was um, sort of uh, around 67 days in the making from from end to end it was very slowly slowly and carefully done um, as per the the instructions in the uh, recipe um, and um, and effectively it did work out very well I have a bottle here to share um, now I can't share it with you through the screen unfortunately but what I can do is share a little bit um, and let you know what, it, um, what it's turned out like. So there we go, let me just move that there. I have been looking forward to this all day. And now, um, the clarity, let me move that there. The clarity is wonderful. There was a lot, slightly reddish hue from the strawberry flavoring essence. Um, there's got a lovely cider smell um, now. Um, and my friends actually have been drinking some of this and they have said that they particularly like this one. So this one has definitely been an all around winner. Um, <clears throat> so. Oh, and I see why. Ah, yes. Um, now this is, it is interesting using um, essence and flavorings because when I first bottled this early on, um, it almost felt like um, it was like um, it was a very artificial strawberry flavor to it. And the fact that a little bit of time has passed since bottling day, um, that sort of artificial sort of a flavor to it has gone. Um, funny enough, a lot of the strawberry flavor has gone as well. It's not it's not a strong a strawberry flavor it's just a it's almost like an essence a hint of strawberry flavor in there um but yes i think you will not argue that this is a very nice cider to try so if you decide not to do turbo cider version 2.0 then i can highly recommend you try Moss Home and Gardens um, sort of strawberry or blueberry cider because they are a winner.